Hey guys, I would like to quickly announce that I just completed the offlane cheat sheet similar to the carry cheat sheet I released recently. The digital copy to this document will be given exclusively to my paid Patreon members, so be sure to check out my Patreon to get the digital copy of the offlane cheat sheet as well as coaching time with me. The link will be in the description box of the video. Thank you. So um, let's start with a bit of introduction. Let me know your like background in Dota. I just uh, in general, you mean like when I started playing and things like that? Ah, correct. Anything that you think might help me understand your situation better now? All right. Um, I've been playing Dota on and off for like, uh, what is it now? Like 12 years. I think I started in 2012. Okay. But I've played like uh, 3,300 matches or something. I mean, I could look it up. It's something about 3,000 matches. Okay. Um, I'm also a League of Legends player. Okay. And I'm... Uh, higher ranked in league of legends than i am in dota mm -hmm. so i guess um i mean I, I guess i have a good understanding of uh macro and things like that in league because they am diamond you know that's okay diamond yeah yeah, yeah. Don't, don't let me lie it's like top four percent of players or something yeah. and um in dota i'm legend and i've yeah. been basically stuck in mid legend uh, ever since i started playing ranked okay and it's always that i that i play ranked for a few months and then I just stop playing, not because I'm frustrated, but probably just because I play other games or something. But okay. whenever I take the game seriously, I feel like I'm stuck, like just before Ancient, kind mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. So I guess there must be some fundamental things I'm doing wrong, probably. Okay. Um, I mainly play support. Okay. Um, and I feel like whenever I, uh, whenever I get frustrated with the role, when I spend my earned role queue games, to play something like mid lane or uh, off lane, mm -hmm. I feel like games are actually easier. Like climbing in general is easier. Oh, but I okay. kind of, but I kind of, um, how do I put it? I kind of have the, I, I I kind of want to climb by playing support because I just enjoy the role more. Okay. And I and I also feel like um, the the legend bracket lacks dedicated support players often. Like when I play the core roles, I see. My support's also doing mistakes that I wouldn't do. Okay. So you you know I feel like uh, I'm better off with the basic knowledge I have in the support role, but I okay. feel like I can I can't climb or I can't carry with that role. You know I mean obviously mm. it's not a carry role, but mm. um, yeah. Okay. I, okay. I was um, back then when there was the the um, blade mail hard matter if you remember that. Yeah, yeah. I, for example, played a lot of um, ganking mid laners like Primal Beast and Earth Spirit, mm -hmm. and I had big success with that. I I climbed a few hundred MMR just. I literally just started playing the hero. Yeah. Um, I, I I legit climbed a lot, but then I felt like mm, I don't know. I I'd, I'd rather play support, and then I'm just mm -hmm. back stuck at the MMR I was again. So, yeah. Okay, you primarily play push four or five or both. Hmm. I play both, but because I, I mainly play five at the moment. Okay. And what's your hero pool like? Um, at the moment I play a lot of Lion and Lich. Okay. And um, usually what's also in my hero pool is Crystal Maiden, although I don't enjoy her mm -hmm. right now. I don't know, I just don't feel like playing her. Mm -hmm. But yeah, at the moment it's mostly Lion and Lich. Um, that's the heroes I play. On both roles. Yeah. Uh, but I'd rather play uh, Lich as a 5. I only pick him as a, as a 4 when I really have to. Okay. You play any, like, Nietzsche's Prophet, um, uh, Takis, Witch Doctor, like, more lane dominant yeah. heroes? Um, I've, I've tried my, my hand with playing Takis, uh -huh. but, um, I don't know, I think I, I couldn't really utilize the, the ultimate, you know, I, I wasn't sure how to utilize the proximity mines properly, okay. Okay. like how to control areas and things, and I didn't feel like learning the hero. I mean, I could. In general, okay. I like him. Okay. Nature's Prophet, I've not played seriously. I've only tried him in, in unranked as support from time okay. to time. Okay. So there is a problem with the heroes you have, because generally these Ooh. heroes are not heroes that can win new games as a support if... Like, even if I did everything right, like I push lanes, I hold lanes, I help my cars come in line, but 
Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I can't I can't just get an Eglim scepter online and carry the game myself. I can't also get a leech uh, scepter and carry the game myself. So while the things yeah. that I'll teach you are applicable to every other support you play, you will find more success with other supports because you're not playing at an MMR where a dedicated support works. That's the truth. Yeah, I mean, I, I was always wondering whether that's the truth because I. I kind of think it's an, a delusion that you could tell yourself, you know, ah, I'm just mm. stuck because uh, support, uh, playing support, it doesn't work. Mm. But it feels like that oftentimes, you know, it's uh, frustrating sometimes. So yeah, I want you to view support as not a support support, as in you don't just fix yourself to like ward all the time, stand behind core all the time, mm-hmm. you know, like uh, gank all the time. Rather, you need to understand your role as a support to be like, I do whatever the team doesn't do. I'm the last priority. But if my teammates make me the first priority, I will still play as the first priority. So we no yeah. longer go by roles and actions of your role. We go more like priority of Dota in general. You know, like simple stuff like yeah. pushing lanes, holding lanes, applying pressure, yeah, securing is, control. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like, uh, now that you mentioned that, I feel like oftentimes I'm a... I'm a too sacrificial player. Like I yeah, yeah, yeah. do exactly the things that you say. Like like yeah. maybe smoke myself to ward or to de ward in dangerous right. places, etc. Yeah. And sometimes you know because I, I I watched content as well. You know about macro gameplay and whatever. Yeah. Sometimes I see like a, a lane is pushed in, mm. and I think like yeah the, the the carry should go there now. And sometimes <laughs> I also I also communicate uh, I communicate in in voice chat. Yeah. So I tell him yeah go there, then he doesn't. But then I think yeah. like hmm. If I do it now, you know, I'm abandoning my team. Yeah. And I'm not playing my role, even though the correct thing right now would be to push out that lane because it's correct, pushing correct. into a car. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So that's where we need to correct some of your, I think, uh, mindset right now. So let's see. Yeah, and you think uh, changing the hero pool would be a, an important step to that? Because uh, I mm. feel like if I if I pick something like Lion, you know, mm. and it's not it's very so efficient to, to, be, yeah, push to be pushing out the lane. Correct, and, correct. Uh, but but for now, I wouldn't look too much into your hero. Just look at how you play the game first. Let's see how you play the game. Yeah, I see. Okay, so some potential problems now. Let's see, potential problems faced. Earlier you said um you play too sacrificial, right? Mm-hmm. Like always trying to smoke the ward. Uh, even when game doesn't tell you. And then um, uh, prioritize uh, course to farm rather than understanding what cores are actually doing right now. Uh, okay, what else? What, what, are, what are some other problems you think um, you might be facing other than this? Mm. Like, do in you general, feel lost? In, this particular yeah, game, in general, in general. Uh, I often feel lost after the laning stage is over. And in this in this okay. particular game, it's, it's uh, over pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm accomplishing things on the map because we lane against Viper and Venom, and so the lane was unplayable, basically. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I left relatively early and tried to do things on the map. But okay. often it feels very, I don't know how to put it, random, you know? Yeah, you have an opportunity to, to gank sometimes, sometimes mm-hmm. you don't, and then you're just running mm-hmm. around on the map and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, saving yeah. your TP for something to happen. Right. Maybe you stick a camp, but then it kind of feels like mm. waste of time. And I also yeah. sometimes don't know when to leech experience from other lanes if your own mm-hmm. lane is playable. Mm-hmm. Because... It, I mean, it's horrible. It feels horrible as a mid laner when your support is just standing around there, basically <laughs> yeah, taking yeah. off your experience. I'm, so yeah, I try to yeah. not do it. Okay. But that, then again, that's already probably playing too sacrificial again. Okay. Yeah. How about positioning? Why is in fights? Do you find that you die a lot in fights, or um, do you find that you get caught out a lot? Mm, honestly, yes, and oftentimes. Uh, that's why I build defensive items like four stuff, glimmer cape, ghost scepter. Okay. Um, so maybe it is a positioning issue. I often catch myself, for example, as line skipping blink dagger. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to get survivability items. So okay. now that you mention it, I mean that that could be like a crutch that I'm using. I'm not sure. Okay. I mean. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Starting items are pretty good. Like generally, you want to start with two sentries so you can immediately just go like block and reward if they block. Otherwise, uh, you block twice. Yeah. I always do that. I, I really like this uh, sentry game. You know, I often yeah. feel like when 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 the enemy support doesn't respect it, it's hmm. a huge advantage that you have. Yeah. So lane yeah. lane is pretty much one if you can block camps and deblock your camp to pull. If they can't pull, and you can pull, you just win the lane usually. Yeah. I also okay. have a question about that actually. 
yeah, yeah. Is, is there like a rule, uh, like when you when you stop this warring dewarring game? Because I feel I feel like I don't know if if it's seven eight minutes. You know, is it still worth it to block the enemy camp or? You know, I mean, it's a pretty general and hypothetical question, I guess, but you understand this, what I mean. This is done as long as the lane is playing. As long yeah. as you feel like you can contest them and you still want to sit in lane. The moment yeah, you feel yeah. like there's no more point in sitting in lane, then you stop doing this. Okay. Yeah, like you feel like, okay, example, I can win the lane and I'll push it down. Why do I still need to pull? So I don't care if they block. Oh, or okay. um, if the lane is like pushing up and we might even need to pull it ourselves. I might even deward my own sentry so I can pull myself. Something like that. So it depends on whether you're winning or losing the lane and you have to leave the lane or not. I see, I see. Okay, so the moment you get your bounty and you get gold, right? First first items you want to be sending is another set of Tango. And you send like a mana item as well. First two items immediately fly that out. Because mm -hmm. you, you don't want to be playing the lane once you have regen. Because it, eventually if you drop your health too low and you start sending, it's too slow. Especially against such a lane, right? Uh, yeah, but regardless of the lane, just do it for safety every time. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, you're trading with spells. That's good. Nice. Nice trading. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, nice trading, bro. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So I can really tell you're um, trading a lane. It's okay. You understand. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. Really good. I mean, here, pretty sure I've been pulling, right? Because the lane is really, like, pushing out unless you can push and kill. Should have been pulling that, but it's fine. Yeah, I often catch myself uh, being a bit late to the pulls, especially after things happen. Yeah. You no, know, and then uh, regret it immediately. You, it, I think it's like you got to, pull. you got to prepare for it as a new. Whether or not you pull, right, depends on what you can contribute here. If your contribution is high, let's say my health is full, I could have still been fighting the viper. Then of course I don't pull. I'll go and mess with him instead. But if my yeah. health is really dropping like this, I can't contribute much here because I might die. Then we will pull. I see. So you go pull if you cannot contribute in lane. Don't pull just because wave push up. Instead, think about contribution in lane. So, so would you say in general? Um, yeah. I mean, you 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 pull the lane so it's in front of your tower, so you have the good position. But would you mm -hmm. say if your HP is high or higher than the enemies, correct? It's also also viable to play in front of their tower. You should especially you should. this early. Correct. Yeah. Like doing this is just giving them space to recover in lane. If you can yeah, shut their, yeah. if you can shut their farm down, why does it matter if the lane is here? It doesn't matter. Yeah, because I'm okay. That's that's uh, great input because I'm always in that mindset. The lane should not be here. We should mm -hmm. do anything possible to pull it back. You know, and that's mm. how I play basically every game. So it's completely wrong. It turns out. Side lane is like this is a misconception that a lot of people have. They're like, hey, lane push yeah. out immediately, go back and pull, but they don't understand. They could have actually push and kill the hero even under their tower. And when they do this, now their core is left alone. So from a winning scenario, you put yourself into a losing scenario now. Okay, yeah. Side lanes are heavily dependent on trading favorably. The earlier you can set up zoning opportunities, like 2v1, at level 1 to 3 especially. Keep abusing these openings with uh, openings with higher health and mana. Then you will definitely win lane. That's why I told you, you see the regen you had to have earlier? This is what it's for now. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Mana usually, well. I s usually I start with two tangos, um, but I bought a stick for some godforsaken reason this game, but uh, yeah. I mean, it's not really worth it against Viper. So uh, yeah, I realized that later, I think. I mean, the stick wasn't been... wrong because there's a potential Vano that will spam ward in lane. We don't uh, know, yeah. potentially, but the problem was not starting with one tango. The problem was not flying out another tango. Mm-hmm. In fact, I will tell you to start with more stats and start with one tango so you can trade better at level 1. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just make sure you do this. Uh, just make sure you do this. This is important. Mm -hmm. Whether your core can survive the lane, whether you guys can win the lane depends heavily on regen. Just keep, keep ensuring your health are high all the time, especially when you're early levels. Oh, this is not very... Efficient career sending, right? You are sending out a self tango and clarity, but you still have about 371 gold. How about finishing this? Alright, yeah. buy your wand, buy a win lace to make up for boots. 
Then you'll finish your goal. Just wait like 25 gold. I see. Before you send courier, always think about what else you can use the gold for remaining gold. Try and finish it. Okay, so here, of, of course your health is low, so you will pull, right? And Luna is um, not playing up there, so you will pull. Mm -hmm. But let's say this guy's health are like quarter, quarter, then you don't pull. You go and fight here mm -hmm. instead. I understand, yeah. yeah. Oh, how come you run? <laughs> how come you run back to deny crits, bro? This is um, this uh, 2v1, right? 2v1, go fight. I should have been there, trading, trading. Now, yeah, now that, uh, that I see it, you know, in, in hindsight that... Uh... A lot of movements in lane is decided by what your partner does. As long as you know how to read the guy, you will know what you should be doing. If the guy is moving up, you will move up. Like if I'm playing as the core, I'm always reading my support. If I see my support playing like this, I'm gonna play like this. But if I see my support playing like this, I'm gonna play like this. Same thing for you. No, oh, these are fine. You're not like uh, overextending, this is fine. Ooh. Yeah, was. I, <laughs> I think it's because you you tend to mana drain him, you could have juked around, use your stick, play around the trees, eat a tango. Yeah, that, that was a that was a reaction like uh I thought like okay I'm dead anyways, since Viper is going to slow me and I cannot escape, but I guess that's just wrong thinking then. Always always try your best to survive, man. No matter what you're given, what scenario you're given, try your best to survive. Mm -hmm. Always try to run. I think there will be more than one of those uh, occurrences then, if I remember correctly. We'll see if that's a pattern. Fine. Okay, yeah, now now you pull, because you cannot contribute in lane, they are stronger than you, so you have to pull, sure. Mm -hmm. But not because the lane is pushing up. Okay, there are two, um, two, two against you, so you have to chill. That's fine, that's fine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I meant. I think it's not gonna be one time that's gonna happen this game. Run like this. Kite, kite, kite. Yeah. Use the trees to your favor. Never run in the open like this. Like earlier as well. Run in the trees. Trees block your path. Uh, block vision. Hey guys, before we continue with this video, I would like to just take a quick moment to ask that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my videos and YouTube channel. Your support will really help me grow my channel. Also, you can check out my Fiverr page if you are interested in coaching sessions with me. Thank you. Uh, again, see bro, your um, goal, just uh, complete your one by like mm -hmm. your... How uh, are you buying? You're buying this, right? So how about your win lace? This is good TP, You could, uh, just in case the guy didn't die, that's fine. Clean up. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, convenient um right side, so you're ganking, that's fine. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh, what's this? See bro, this is what I was talking about earlier. Your core just yeah. died, your core has no TP, so why leave the lane? Yeah, true. No. Yeah. If you don't know what to do, just pick a lane that you're closest to and sit there, do not move. The only times you'll move is when your core comes and take over the lane for you. Doesn't matter what phase of the game. If it's like early game, mid game, as long as I'm at a lane and my team is somewhere else, I will not budge from here. I go all the way. I keep the lane pushed out all the way. Until I have mm -hmm. to TP to there or something. TP to fight or something. Otherwise, we sit and we throw spells and we deep push and we soak XP. Mm -hmm. When the core comes to you, now you have two options. You choose to protect him by sitting behind, or you can now choose to move. Sure. Okay. All right. Or you can even like farm a camp beside that the core is not farming. Possible. Three options actually. Uh, you sit behind the core to give him the lane. Uh, mm -hmm. if you need XP to get six, it's okay to soak. If you already have six, uh, let him take XP. Go out of XP range, but sit behind him in trees. Okay, number two, uh, you um go farm a camp beside as you wait for something to happen nearby. Like, car gets chased, you are nearby. Mm -hmm. Uh, kill opportunity is present. 
you can connect nearby or you just get creeps. Then number three, uh, you just go to other lane and sit behind the other claw. So if I'm a hero that can jungle fast, then I'll pick two. If I'm a hero that cannot jungle fast, then I'll pick three. I see. Yeah. So if I'm techie six now and my sniper is coming here, I would actually farm this. I wouldn't move to this. But if I'm lion five and I cannot farm this fast, then I'll move to this. Okay. Does that make sense? Of course, yeah. yeah. This is how you decide decision making after lane. See, this is purpose. Like You know what you're doing. It makes sense what you're doing. You don't just move because you feel like you got nothing to do. There has to be purpose. Mm -hmm. If you're TP, you don't have to walk here. Yeah. 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 yeah go ahead. Um. I mean, you're right. I could just TP. Uh. In this exact situation, but right. my thinking is like, okay, my Luna is alone. Maybe maybe something happens. That's why I'm moving there. But I mean, obviously it's wrong. I understand. So that's why we're not playing for like what if scenarios. You know, we don't want to be like. I'm here before something happens. What if nothing happens? You just wasted your time. It's just like, I'm I'm trying to walk down in case a fight breaks out. What if the fight doesn't break out? I'm trying to save a TP to, in case a fight breaks out. What if no fight breaks out? There's always that what if, so you're going to waste a ton of time. Mm -hmm. That's a gamble. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Stuff yeah, like yeah. this are gambles. Like now example, why is sniper TP bot? What about this lane now? That could have all been my experience. I would probably yeah, could have gotten six. six correct? Yeah, and I could have gotten you like 400 gold, 300 gold, free. And if Sniper never comes back and he goes and gank another lane or he TP's top, well now guess what? Free lane for you. And you just keep holding the lane for yourself. That's why it's, I say uh, shit like um, Takis, like all this profit, it makes a lot more sense now, right? Yeah, I understand, I understand. Oh. oh nice, nice. Good play. Okay, now see, you're behind the core, right? You're behind the core. There's a <laughs> core holding the lane and you're bot side here. So um, you got to assess, are these kills? Quite far if you TP and walk there to kill, so it's not kill. Now you've got to mm -hmm. find a way to get farm. So how do you farm now? You mm, remember this? I guess... Yeah, I, I guess I would just uh, go to the nearest jungle camp maybe. And Correct, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but because you're a hero that cannot do that, how do you do that? You will pull to farm. You will pull to farm. Okay, yeah. But if the Luna takes it, that's fine. Give it to him, you sit behind. Soak the XP because you need 6. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think that's also the the sacrificial mindset that I have. Like, um, yeah. I, I mean, I ha I haven't played uh, position one a lot, mm. but I know like the theory of uh, you know farming patterns and things like yeah. that. So I, yeah. so I always feel like if I take this hard camp or this easy camp now, I'm mm. kind of disrupting her, you know. Mm. So so I often don't do it because for that reason, I either if I decide to farm something, go relatively far away from him. Mm. But then I feel like I'm out of position, you know, and just AFK farming in general, or I just don't farm at all most of the time. So I mean, one small camp like this is fine, right? But <laughs> like this guy yeah. can still go this and skip past this to go down like that. That's still fine. One yeah, small okay. camp doesn't matter. But okay, yeah. let's say we pull this, and now this guy comes comes to take that that camp. Sure, we'll give it to him. Yeah. Okay. So I I, I told you earlier a core a support a support is simply something that does whatever everyone else is not doing you are the last priority but if your cores are not giving are not like playing their priority then you become the first priority mm -hmm. so see. stuff like holding lanes pushing lanes pushing towers um hitting camps pulling camps to farm this will all become you not as a support but as a player that's with the low priority yeah i understand okay okay now after this you got to assess right is this a kill it's not a kill is this a kill potential kills is this a kill with the Luna, uh, not a kill. So next yeah. thing you'll be doing is pick the closest lane, hold it behind your core, unless you can hit the camp, which you cannot. So you just mm -hmm. go sit by the core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this, nice, like this. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Okay, now you're done with that. So the next yeah. thing you think about is we are behind the core again, right? Either we mm -hmm. choose to sit behind and protect him, or we choose to leave to another lane if that's a kill. Or we choose to go back and farm a camp. So right now mm -hmm. we check. This is not kill. Um, this is potential kill. So you're walking down. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. We are always um we are always like re rotating around three of this only after the lane to make your decisions. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Start beside core. Stay with core. Unless another core is a kill, then go. If nothing is happening anymore, you can farm camp. Farm camp. Repeat. 
it's independent of whether I play position four or five, right? Correct. So, Doesn't matter. Your hero yeah. will tell you if it's a kill or not. With the around heroes around here, if it's kill, you will come. If it's not kill, you don't come. So that's the only thing that will change. Okay. Yeah. yeah I see. Like a leech might come here, a lion might not come here because those are kills to leech plus this. Those are not kills to lion plus this. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now heroes are low health. Of course you come. All right, percent they die. Yeah. Then now this leads into a convenient tower push. Of course. Yeah, see, we are going back to that again. So we started yeah, here. The the useless roaming, you mean? Yeah, yeah. There is no purpose yeah. in moving to mid now because there's no kill to generate here, no information. Yeah. So based on that, what do we do here? Core beside. So we sit here and we chill. We wait. Yeah. We pull camp, we farm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you're here that can farm camps, right now you farm the camps around here. So you take away from, from this guy as well. Yeah, yeah that, that's exactly what I meant with... Uh being a bit aimless after the laning phase and I mean it shows so yeah yeah I mean even walking in to plan the world like this is insane why you're running into death right <laughs> yeah, in, well, yeah, yeah. this guy pops out you die yeah okay that was even more that's a very insane. goofy situation <laughs> insane <laughs> the thing is uh, we were communicating in voice chat and I told them that we tower dive him but yeah I mean yeah didn't work out as well as it was uh, probably intended so no but funny thing is you don't even know where's the wind runner bro it's been ranger like here like here like here mm. has he regen health up you don't know why if wind yeah, ranger yeah. was here and you you he saw you first you were gonna die or if, what what if wind ranger is running top to gangly shit already and you ended up just walking mid wasting time right i see yeah definitely but instead you check this guy have out you check this guy grim short level five is that a kill with you potentially yeah. so your player in this this the thing is, I was I was really considering not showing you this replay because of this exact situation, but then yeah. I thought like, I mean, it was a fair tower dive, right? But then I thought like, there's probably like something in the bigger picture that I'm missing. Uh, why I even end up in this situation? It's right, right. Not, not not that I understand. It's because I don't do this um, the, this list you just taught me. So I'm just this... uselessly roaming somewhere, and I get into those mm -hmm. kind of situations because of that. Just yeah. go pick a lane, play behind that core, or pick an open lane, push out that lane until the core comes. Keep mm -hmm. doing that. Mm -hmm. And now top lane open, right? Before you do this, you got to assess, are these kills at mid? Okay, this guy doesn't have bling, we don't have bling. So um, we go top, because you cannot kill this. Sure, makes yeah. sense. Uh, see, <laughs> see, you're walking yeah. to mid yeah, yeah. <laughs> instead of holding the lane. I mean, when, once you understand, you... Uh, I mean, I see that in my own movements right now, that's... Uh just aimless you know it's just uh, a lot of waste of time that's why your level is slow most of the time in games you might end up dying a lot mm. you know a good criteria for your last hit as a support is about one third to of your core so whatever mm. your core has try to aim for one third of it like mm -hmm. uh, luna has like 56 now we want about 20 last hits so where did 20 yeah. last hits go holding lanes yeah. holding yeah, lanes yeah. Yeah, i could have easily reached that probably Easy. just if i took the one opportunity in mid lane before yeah mid lane yeah, 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 so this I lane. The mid lane could have generated you like three waves or two waves. No. Okay. And all the pool camps as well, we miss out on that as well, remember? Yeah? All the pool camps. Mm. Yeah. It's probably like 200 gold gone again. 200 gold, and this is like, um, how much is this? It's about 120, 140. So 120 times 3, 360, 360, about 500 gold gone. Yeah. And it's like one half a level gone. That's why I said earlier, if I'm playing in your position and I play this, I wouldn't play Lion. If I'm playing like a Prophet or like a Techist, by now I'm level 8. I'm higher than my post 1. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I see, I see. So, so I just have to get into the mindset of just playing greedy, right? Just it's playing not playing for, greedy, more it's for... more like playing for the best decision, like the surest play, based on information. It's not greedy, mm -hmm. it's like, what's the best thing to do now? That will tell mm -hmm. you. Most of the time it will look greedy, yeah. But it's the best thing to do. Yeah, I see, I see. So let's say I'm playing on HS Prophet and I'm farming this. And I keep pushing this out, and the fight breaks out here. I can still go, right? Yeah, we'll that's that's the point. difference. Yeah, no. like I can TP top with my scroll, and I can uh sprout there later to fight. Teleport there to fight. But other heroes like this, we cannot. We TP there, and we now have to walk to mid, or we just ignore mid and we walk all the way out. Plus, no flash yeah. farming tool on this, no wave clearance. How to play? Yeah, yeah I understand. But like I say, it's not really the hero again. Like. Your your problem now is the macro decision. How do you decide what to do? No matter your hero, it's the same thing. 
you might find that you get your bling dagger a lot earlier once you start doing this. See, this is all a waste of time. Like, look at your whole team here. <laughs> Everyone is like two lanes are in like that. Yeah. Like, uh, five men is mid like that. This is classic 3K MMR, bro. Yeah, exactly. That's uh. Yeah, and I see this happen a lot. I don't. I don't mm. notice it every time, but sometimes I notice this exact map state, and I think like, no, we we shouldn't be fighting. It's it's stupid. But then mm. I think if I TP away now or leave or whatever to push mm. out the lane, mm. uh, I'm the guy that did something wrong because I didn't submit to the chaos. You know. <laughs> yeah. No, the problem is we don't want to start here, but we want to end here. Does that make sense? Like, we want to start somewhere else, but we want to TP in when it's good, so we'll end up here. But we have solved a lot more things before we end up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Where you start matters. Like, where you start on the map matters. That will decide what and where you go. What you do and where you go. What do you mean exactly with starting? After respawning, you mean? Uh, not after responding, like, no matter where you are on the map, in what specific moment. Ah, let's okay. say, yeah. yeah, like a byproduct of where you went to, now you ended up here, and your whole team is here, so we cannot leave this. Mm -hmm. But earlier, yeah. if you're actually up there, like, see, up there. Yeah, I could have been... Okay, like here, yeah, like here. Your, yeah. your byproduct would have been out all the way. Then if you had TP, you will TP later, because you started away, and then you end up there. Yeah, I see. But if our core was here, and there's a kill potential here, and our movement went here, right now we will stay here because our core is there and that's the highest kill um, potential. So we started here yeah. because our core is up here that we couldn't do anything about. But now we cannot do anything about this. So our uh, action will be this. If we cannot oh. reach that, it's fine. We cannot do anything about it. Hmm. I have a question about that. I I heard yeah. that supports are the, the players that are supposed to take the dangerous farm, which would be this exact lane, right? If I if I were to push it out all the way to the to the enemy tier one tower, there's the potential that I might get ganked. Does not, that matter? Yeah, like, no, the... no, it's not necessarily like it's not about dangerous farm or not. If you're gonna farm and feed, you're just feeding. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you want to take farm, you take it safely. It depends on your hero. Like, okay, let's say I'm playing like a leech, for example, and I see the wave, but I don't know what's behind it. I'm not going to walk up and push the wave all the way like, out like that. I'll expect to die. I'm just going to feed. Yeah, Instead, yeah. I'll be sitting in trees. First shield, first shield, first shield. You know, I never show. I just first I spell, first shield. Yeah. First spell, first yeah. shield. If you call it dangerous farm, sure. But we're doing it without dying, without like waste of feeding. Yeah, I see. See, that's why heroes like this are insane. Like Phoenix, why? Fire spirit in trees. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Okay. Yeah, I see. Or like Tren, sit in tree, push wave, push wave, push wave, push wave, never die, never show. Mm -hmm. Hold wing also, sit in tree, two spell, two spell, two spell, two spell. But do you think mm -hmm. heroes like Lion can do this? Nah, definitely not. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, sh I should probably reevaluate my hero pool then. I mean, Learn to pick heroes that can uh, clear waves fast. Or like, yeah. that can get farm and generate the, like, turn the game yourself. For example, even Jakiro is much better because you can two shot wave and you're strong in lane. Right? Or like Leech is fine as well. Or Lash is fine as well. Or Disruptor yeah. also can strong in lane for spell, can push out wave. Mm -hmm. Uh Nature's Prophet, S tier, of course, strong. Oracle definite no, Oracle is same as Lion. Uh Pogna, okay. Pogna can push towers, can push wave without showing, just blast and hide, blast and hide. Mm -hmm. Shaman is okay, you can sneak to Brick Tower, uh for spell, push wave. Shackle to spawn sneak to push wave. But at the end, we are always going back to the same concept. See, we are we are looking at the same thing. Okay, so far you understand? Uh, any questions from what we talked about starting from lane until now? Oh, I, I definitely understood. It's, it okay. was very insightful already. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Look at from the lane. What did we discuss earlier? Um, Laning phase. Uh, definitely the uh, gold efficiency, like spending uh, yes, gold good. efficiently. Yes, good. Career usage, yeah, gold efficiency, good. Then um, it was laning phase, right? Not correct, correct. Post laning. Um, yeah, correct. Laning phase. Trying to oh. uh, value your own life, <laughs> like okay, a sure. Actually, value trying to yeah, trying to survive, trying to survive instead of <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, burning like sixty mana of the enemies. <laughs> Run in trees, juke around, try your best, yeah. survive yeah, and yeah. regen. So um, yeah. playing uh, according to your uh, lane partner, like exactly. Reading Very good. Two v one. Reading how, how he plays. Yeah. Your partner, very good. Yes, and mm -hmm. another one, an important one, pulling. 
Yeah, pulling uh, only yeah. when it makes sense, like or not, not always. Cannot contribute when... in lane. Exactly, depending yes. on your and the enemy's HP and yes, yeah. health level, hero, partner, everything. Assess strong or weak. All right, nice. Okay, early game phase. Okay, how about this? Uh, definitely big one. Um, hmm. Only moving with purpose, like yes, uh, move with purpose. following this 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 list of uh, whether yes. you should uh, hide behind the three steps. core or yeah. Yep, hide behind core or uh, go other lane if core holding lane, or uh, go other yeah. lane if kill. Uh, opportunity present yeah uh or farm cam if you can farm cam i think generally that's it right um what yeah. else yeah I oh yeah uh, the, uh, yeah, uh, don't don't blindly one, walk so. in walk into plum wards otherwise you feed yeah. also when you push lanes push it safe so like not sacrificial farm more like safe farm but still aggressive farm okay good 